back to Imam Abdul Wahab, in a nutshell, do your own research or don't do your own research. It's your choice. My advice is that as a priority, stick to researching ideas and, and notions, not people. Most especially if it's going to take hundreds of hours of your time to do justice to researching those issues. Um, you know, reading every rebuttal and counter rebuttal and reading all the sources and verifying whether the sources are, are reliably attributed to their authors and, and reading the different studies and conclusions reached by different people and weighing the strengths and weaknesses of each stance. That's going to take a lot of time. And if you don't even know Arabic, you're probably not even going to be able to do all that properly. And that's even assuming that you're going to come out, out of all this with a definitive conclusion. And if you do decide to research the subject, then don't merely look at what transpired but also examine the events through a juristic and, and, and theological lens to determine what actions, uh, you know, to, to determine what actions committed were, were definitely wrong, uh, definitely right, or what was opening to differing viewpoints. And, and that's referring to both sides. Ibn Abdul Wahhab and his opponents weren't necessarily angelic in their behavior, by the way. Don't let anybody try to guilt trip you or make you feel like you're immoral. And this is a message to the Atharis listening. Don't let anybody try to guilt trip you or make you feel like you're immoral just because you're not casting negative moral judgments on Ibn Abdul Wahhab. You're not obliged in the Sharia to hold any stance about any fallible man, um, you know, uh, especially when it requires an extreme level of effort to do so. At the same time, again, this is ad advice directed to Atharis, do make sure that you don't defend Ibn Abdul Wahhab blindly either, especially if you haven't done sufficient research. It works both ways. Don't appear before Allah on the Day of Judgment possibly having to answer for why you defended oppressive actions. Watch out for yourself. Stick to ideas and concepts. Now, 